Kristen and I have some September favorites for you. The year has come and is going very quickly, I must say. Um, I feel like I, I kind of miss September. I did a lot of traveling, and so I think you'll see some of these products really are, are geared toward that. Um, I was away for the weekend early on, and then I was away for a week for work, so let's just go ahead and get into it. My favorite eye look, and I did a get ready with me on this, and I will link that below in case you missed it. I think I called it Easy Breezy Get Ready With Me, something like that. Uh, I, I have really enjoyed the combination of using the Batch of the Bronze as a base. As I told you, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to use this product up by the end of the year. I will do it. I mean, I'm really close. So I've been using that as a base. And actually, let me just put some on my hand so I can kind of show you guys what, that will, what this combo looks like. Um, and again, I will list that. Get ready with me below. So that's Bad to the Bronze. You've all seen that a bajillion times. And then I've been taking Makeup Geeks Pigment in Sweet Dreams. So I have the one that does not have any sort of sifter and is messy as all get out. If you know me, you know that drives me crazy. Um, Makeup Geeks Pigment, from what I understand, is a dupe of Max Naked Pigment, if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm just going to put that over here in case you're curious and that's what that looks like so it just makes a really kind of nice still has a little bit of the topeness that bad to the bronze has but just brightens it up a little bit you could even use a little bit more on top of that to brighten it up some more it just gives a really long lasting eye and is so so pretty just a nice brightness on your lid so let me put this cover on here before i have a big old mess because you know that's going to happen all right, so that was, that's my first thing. Then a couple other eyeshadows I just want to give a quick mention to. And the Chanel Quad for fall, I, I love this. I realize I did a get ready with, with this as well. A get ready with me <laughs> with this as well. So this is, um, you know, let's just call it Candour so that I don't have to say the whole thing again. But I, I just love that the, all these three shades are beautiful and then you can just add in that red one when you want to. There are a couple of times when I just used these three shades on my lid, or you know, on my eyes, my day look, and then added the red for a little bit of night look and threw on the red lipstick that came with that, with that fall collection. And just really, really pretty easy, but still kind of classic and chic at the same time. And then lastly, and this was a surprise to me, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today, um, is this palette from Studio Makeup On The Go. So this came in my BoxyCharm, and I am blown away by this, you guys. This sells for $50, which I think is, is pretty decent for nine shades that are nice go-to shades. If you have, you probably have all the shades in your collection. If you already have a palette like this, you may not need this palette. But I, I wanted to talk about it because I feel like the quality is really good and lasting power is good they blend very nicely they don't tend to fade I, I just have really been impressed with them what i have on my eyes today is this center shade right here that's all over my lids i mean it's just really really pretty and then on my inner corner i have this one right here my inner corner and i have which one did i use i have this one right here and my as transition and then this one to deepen things up i did take a little bit of the bronze beneath my lower lash line you actually can get quite a few different looks from this obviously all neutral looks but let me swatch these for you this is one swatch of both of those i just am really really impressed i did adjust my lighting because yesterday i filmed my empties and moved my lights around and i feel like things are not quite where they're supposed to be so i apologize if it's, the, if it's a little eh, shimmery all right, let's move on to, um, you know, let's talk about a brush. So this brush, I think when I did the rehaul on this, I was like, yeah, it's fine. You know, I, I didn't find it, you know, all that exciting, but I've been using it quite a bit lately. So I want to just mention it. This is the Smith number 230 brush. So I, I bought this at IMATS. All right, I've adjusted things a little bit. <laughs> so I bought this at IMATS and it's a very, I'm trying to see, let, what can I compare this to? So this is uh, the Sigma version, but whatever, like a MAC 217, that, that sort of shape. You can kind of see the size. And then, 
See how that's pinched and this is more pointed and round? There's definitely some stiffness to this. What I like this for is when I'm putting a darker shade in my crease, I don't love it to blend so much, but I really feel like I can get a very good placement, a good start to blend, and then I'll switch over to another brush. But I just like how it places um, that darkest shade, which is usually the usually the last shade that I put on in an eye look. I really like how it places oh. that. I wanted to just kind of talk about that and, and kind of do an update to it, be, to update to it because. I, I just, I think I, I think I just did a little bit when I originally reviewed it, so I, <laughs> I wanted to talk about that. Um, you know what? We are going to let, let's talk about face. I do have some fails this month, quite a few fails actually. So I think I'll finish up these my favorites. I'll do my fails and then I'll finish up with my random favorites. Um, this has become, <laughs> so I throw it around. This has become like a staple in my foundation routine. I traveled with this. I've been wearing this all month long, aside from a couple days where I've been trying the Urban Decay Naked Skin. No opinion on that yet. But this, so this is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I did do a review on this, which I will link below for you. But I really like this. It, it, it stays well, it covers well. It's just a good sort of workhorse foundation. It's not your, um, you know, like the Dior Star, which I love so much. It's not going to be the best finish you've ever had on your face. It's not that, it's just a good go-to, reasonably priced workhorse foundation, if that makes sense. So I really, I, I just, I've liked it more and more even since the review that I did. And then lastly, I want to talk about this, and I'm going to grab a brush here while I'm doing this. So this is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in Light. And if you have been around a little bit, you know this. If you've, if you've not, I really like to put a foundation, you know, whatever foundation I'm wearing, and then I use a powder foundation with kind of a fluffy brush over the top for added coverage and longevity. That just seems to work the best for me. So I've been doing that with this and I love the combination of this. So this is kind of a favorite and a fail all at the same time. I love the combination of this again with the Sephora 55 brush. So it just seems to really work it well on my skin. But what I have noticed, and this is why I'm bringing it up because I'm curious if any of you have noticed it as well, is that if I use too much, I mean, even a little bit too much on my chin, all of a sudden I have pores I didn't know I had before with this powder. I don't notice it with any other powder, but I notice it with this powder. Just curious, anybody else have that? <laughs> um, let me know because I, I just have to be very, very careful that I don't over cover that area. Or if I'm touching up later, same thing. I have to be very careful that I don't you know do too much. Or I do a lot of sort of this, more tapping versus buffing in. I, I don't know. Uh, all right, let's talk about a few fails. So the first one is actually powder foundation. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is going back, you guys. Uh, a... I gave it in the shade light, but I put it on me and it made me look about three shades darker than I normally am. So it absolutely oxidized. I didn't feel like it blended very well on my skin. I used it with a couple of different brushes. So this, unfortunately, was a fail for me in going back. And I know that a lot of you guys really like this, so I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm glad that it works for you. It's just not one that works for me. Um, the two really quick things and I actually I, I meant I gave them away to a gal at work so I meant to show them here I, I talked about them in my in a video on two foundation fails so the L'Oreal cushion foundation and then the Wander hydrating Fo flash focus foundation those were fails for me they just did not work um, and again I know that a lot of you really like the cushion but a lot of you are with me on the cushion foundation <laughs> so I'll list that that review below as well but I'm listing lots of things below for you guys today but um, check that out if you're curious about why those foundations didn't work for me. I just wanted to give them another mention here. Right, lastly, and I will, you'll see more about this when I do my Mascara Madness, but I disliked this so much, it's getting a mention on my fails. This is the MAC Upward Lash Mascara. Let me just make sure. Yeah, Upward Lash. You guys. So, this brush, I, I don't even know what the deal is with this brush. And when you put this on, I have tried forever, you guys. I, I left it open to see if it would dry it out. There's no way you can clear all the mascara all the mascara off of here. So when you go to put it on your lashes where you want to start at your root and really wiggle it up, all of a sudden you have two lashes. Like your whole lashes, it's like two lashes. Because it's all gunked up and stuck together and wet. So I was able to make it 
look decent by using the, you know, the brush that I always talk about, the Buxom, you know, mascara brush there. I was able to separate it out and make it look relatively decent, but it is just, no, mm -mm, just skip this. And then throughout the day, it'll flake and fall down on your face and not a flake you can just go hmm, and move away. No, a flake that you go hmm, and all of a sudden you have a streak of mascara on your face. So no, that, <laughs> that is a big fail. Lastly is the Moroccan Argan Oil, and I think I talked, I alluded to this in my empties. And this is an oil I was trying to use up because I had it in my collection for some reason. It, in place of the macadamia nut hair healing oil treatment that I love so much, this, I didn't realize how much I disliked this till I went back to that macadamia nut oil. This just really sort of weighed down my hair, but didn't give it that smooth you know what the oil is supposed to do sort of appearance so I, I don't recommend that one at all I, I was trying to work through it but I just there's just no point it, especially with my hair is lighter now and you know because I had some highlights and my base color I've lightened up you can really see if your ends don't look particularly delightful and oil helps with that this oil does not help with that all right I have some random favorites for you guys I've been trying to do this more often and you know this one I should have been talking about forever because I've been I've been, I've been using this I've been eating these for quite some time now pretty much since we got our, our um I was gonna say subscription our membership to Costco and these are the Sargento balance breaks have you guys seen these I think I maybe have snapchatted about these but you can get these at the regular grocery store as well. I just get them at Costco. It's a little bit cheaper and you get like a two pack. So of the two, these this is my favorite. And this has white cheddar, sea salt roasted almonds, and dried cranberries. And then the other one has cranberries, cashews, and like a regular cheddar. Not a white cheddar, but a regular cheddar. Um, this is 180 calories, 70 grams of protein, in case you are curious about that sort of thing. But I love these to grab, to throw in my little lunch thing for work. They're the perfect snack, and it's just, I don't know, it's something different. It's, it's a little more, like, fresh versus a protein bar, that sort of thing. So I really like these, and they've I've been, it's been a couple of, quite, quite a few months now, since summer, I think, that I've been enjoying those. And lastly, and this is not healthy, uh, I don't even have one of these to show you. <laughs> Bob and I both really, really like these. Uh, this is the Archer Farm, so it's from Target. Caramel Apple Snack Bites. So if those of you are saying to yourself, I thought you didn't have a Target, I don't. Whenever I go to Green Bay or Appleton, I go to the Target and I stock up. And I was Snapchatting the other day about how come you go into Target for one thing? I went in for one thing and came out $100 later. I don't understand it. One of the things I bought, this is not, I mean, it's a favorite, but is this mug? Isn't this cute? All right, anyway. Um, so these are little morsels of goodness that are, um, it says with peanuts, caramel bites, cookies, and apple chips. So it's like a morsel of nutty, apple -y goodness, and then there's a little kind of caramel coating on the bottom of them. Seriously, you need to check these out. I'm quite sure they're, yep, it says lim limited time only. So, you know, just, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you have a Target, go and check those out. All right, that is everything, you guys. I hope that you had a really great month. Oh, on the rest of my face today, I should mention, I think I've told you everything that I have except for lipstick and blush. So I'm wearing the, I really like this blush. I probably should have mentioned it as a favorite because I've worn it quite a bit. This is from Limelight, and it's the blush number one, I think, in the perfect, it's called Perfect Blush, and there's a number one on the back of it. I'm going to be doing Get Ready With Me with some of the products that I got from here, and we'll talk more about it then. Um, and then on my lips today, I have the... Intense Nude by Estee Lauder. I did not have any lip favorites, and like I said, I really didn't have any blush favorites. I used just a bunch of things. Or I was when I traveled, I took Tom Ford Frantic Pink and Cargo Tonga with me just because they're my favorites. All right, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.